Hello, my name is Emily Merriam, and today I'd like to share with you some of the considerations that led to my design of the map symbols used in the USA Current Wildfires layer in ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World. The USA Wildfire symbol must be minimal and prominent. This symbol will be used in many different maps and be combined with other thematic data. It must remain easy to read, but it should not overwhelm the map. The red color and flame shape make the symbol easily recognizable as representing fire. This helps map readers understand the layer without consulting a legend. Its minimal design makes the symbol bold, but does not add additional noise to the map. The symbol must work on light and dark base maps. The flame shape in the center contrasts with the circle background and helps it to stand out on any base map. The red, yellow, purple, and gold colors were tested against many different base maps to make sure they were visible and distinctive on each one. The symbols must continue to look good and be legible when they are overlapping. A round shape was chosen because it's the most forgiving when symbols overlap. The symbol must respect concerns of accessibility. The color scheme was designed to be differentiable by the most common forms of color blindness, as well, the smallest symbol sizes are large enough to read. The symbol must look good at all scales. It should be recognizable at its smallest size, but not appear fuzzy when it is very large. The flame shape has only three points, which are spaced far enough apart that the shape is still clear when it is very small. The symbol should reflect the official map standards used by firefighting agencies in the United States. Burn areas are shown with a light pink fill and a red outline, the same as official fire maps. The symbol should be responsive and perform optimally. When exporting a map symbol from a graphics software, the recommended size is 120 pixels by 120 pixels. A larger or higher resolution file will cause your map to load slowly, especially if there are hundreds of points. A compressed PNG file with a transparent background is the recommended file type. 